Welcome to War Thunder with Subdued. How y'all doing? Okay. Dev servers back open probably for a day or so. Don't know. Don't care. Um, but I wanted to check out this plane. The HE-115C1. This is a German float plane. Uh, probably the most important addition to the game this patch, uh, for those of you that are going, no, it's the MIG or the F-16C, uh, blow it. Um, and the reason I think this is more important is because it gives Germany a low-tier torpedo plane, although it's a rather slow torpedo plane, but it's rank 1, battle rating 1.3. It can carry a torpedo, which isn't very fast, 50 miles an hour in the water. Um, other weapons it can carry, two 250 kilogram napalm bombs, incendiary bombs, one 500 pound bomb, or 500 kilogram bomb, or two 250 kilogram bombs. But it does have a torpedo. Now, it has a forward-firing 15 millimeter right here. It's got a 7.92 here for self-defense and another 7.92. By the way, they're MG15s and MG17s. Both rather high cyclic rate machine guns. Hmm. Got food hiccups. Hate that. Uh, the plane is not fast. It says it do, can do 186 miles an hour at a height of 3,280 3, feet. If you can get the plane to that speed, you're a superhero. I was barely able to get to 135 in test flight, which we will take up in test flight at this moment. Um, we'll go with limited fuel and limited ammo because we're only going to do one torpedo drop. Now, you've got two settings for the fuel. Minimum load is one hour, 44 minutes, which is more than you're ever going to need in any match in this game. And the other one is a full tank, which is five hours and 49 minutes, which is like, why? Excuse me. Excuse me again. Um, but again, you've got the 7.92. You can set that up for armored targets or armored piercing tracers or just default. Default's good enough. The other 7.92 default is good enough. Or that's a 15 millimeter. That's the uh, MG151. So we'll take it up. And we get to fly out of the Bergen map. Now you do have the flaps. So I do suggest setting them to take off. Because this plane is not the fastest 
and you need all the lift you can take to get out of the water. Now, when you're flying this plane in aerialistic, you're not going to get a water start for the most part. You're going to get an air start. And considering you're not going to be flying around carrying torpedoes most of the time, you're probably going to be carrying a couple of bombs. Use the bombs. 500 kilogram bomb is one heck of a weapon at this battle rating. And we'll put a torpedo into the cargo ship here. Again, this torpedo is slow. Oh, also, don't keep it in wep for too long because you will burn the engines up. When you're dropping a torpedo, my best guess is it within a mile or a kilometer and a half. One kilometer is best. And this torpedo doesn't really have a lot of uh, kill. Oh! Last time I flew out in test drive, it took two torpedoes to kill the target ship. This is not a highly maneuverable aircraft. It is no HE you know, 111 or HE-51. It's just not. It, it's very deliberate aircraft. It flies well, but it's not going to be a dogfighter. Even if you do have a forward-firing 15-millimeter cannon. Which you get 200 rounds for. And your firing arcs. Yep, the 15 millimeter is probably going to be your main kill gun if you try to fly this plane in anything that is going to be even semi-combative. Maybe going up against other bombers at the altitude, uh, but you're going to get waffle stomped 
by lots of the other bombers at this battle rating. And you do get landing flaps. Yeah, yeah, Fritz, I hear ya. And landing is just that. You don't get any wheels for landing on ground, so your only option is sea landing. Um, so I think this will probably be mostly an arcade plane. Now, I know in realistic landing naval ship or naval airplanes like this on runways is okay you can get the land here and we'll get you in the air give you an air start to get back up but that's what you get so there we have it The HE-115C1, German float plane. Right before the VV-138C1 and after the Donier 17s. As far as a bomber goes, the Doniers are far superior as far as a seaplane goes, I think the, the BV-138C1 is a better plane, but I do like the HE-115C1. That's about all I got. This is Subdued signing out. Y'all have a pleasant today, a better tomorrow. We'll catch you in the sky in Air Realistic, and uh, I hope those of you that do get to fly this plane, you will enjoy it thoroughly, because I think I will. Subdued. Out!